So we've talked about pretty big measures of mass, like kilograms, they're like a heavy book. We've talked about smaller measures of mass, like a tiny little paper clip, a gram. Um, now we're gonna look at some real world problems that have mass questions, right? And because they're real world problems, they are going to um, be stories. Real world stories about people weighing things, measuring things, making things like they do in life. And you kind of have to find the math in the stories. Every math problem we do this year, for the most part, fits this model. Part, part, whole. What do you have and what are you missing when you read the stories? So I want you to try to think of these stories in this model, right? Because it should help you figure out, do I add? Do I subtract? How do I find the answer? Because that's the thing about the real life. The, if you look around, there are no giant adding signs or subtracting signs on problems in the world. Most of the time when you look at a problem in the world, it's just a story. So here we have a little girl making a pizza. This is a very realistic thing. I'm gonna have pizza tonight. So Lynn used 250 grams of flour to make pizza on Monday. So here she is cooking on Monday. And then on Tuesday, she used some more flour. She used 180 grams of flour on Tuesday to bake some muffins. So she's cooking in the kitchen. She uses 250 Monday. She uses 180 Tuesday. How much flour did Lynn use all together? Well, in this case, we know the parts. We know the blue part, 250. We know the red part, 180. We are missing this great big hole, and that's why there's a line going all the way across and a question mark. So whenever you're missing the whole thing, you're gonna be working toward a really big answer. Bigger answers usually mean adding, right? I know my little parts, I need to put them together by adding them. So off to the side, I'm gonna show that I remember how to add. It's been a while. Zero plus zero? Mm-hmm. Five plus eight. Now you could build a 10 here if you rip that five apart. Hold the eight in your head, count on. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 looks like this. I can't just put a 13 here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the three tens I have and I'm gonna carry my hundred over. I'm gonna add up my normal hundreds, two, three, and then I'm gonna get this one on the top, four. So how much did she use in all? Well, this whole thing is gonna be bigger than the little things. So if my number is not bigger, I probably made a silly mistake. This one's 200. This is 100, so I know that it's got to at least be three, 400, something like that. Well, look at that. My answer is 430 grams. It makes sense. That's another nice thing about the part, part, whole model is the sizes should tell you, am I looking for a little answer? Subtraction. Am I looking for a big answer? Addition? Maybe. So we're gonna do a few of these problems together. And then I'm gonna walk you through how to do um, a few of these on your own as well. Mm. Okay, so now this is someone working in a grocery store. When I was younger, my sister worked in a grocery store. A grocer has 87 kilograms of potatoes. That's like the whole truck of potatoes, has a lot of potatoes, look at them. 87 is every potato in the store, all of them, we have it. He sells 12 kilograms of potatoes. So a little bit is gone, he sells them. This small part is gone. What I'm missing here is this kind of medium sized part that is left over. How many kilograms of potatoes does he have left now that he sold some? So I have the big answer. I have the little part that leaves. 
What I'm missing is this middle size piece here. Do you think I add the two numbers to get an even bigger number? Or do you think I subtract to find the missing part? I take the big number and I subtract all of this and I'll get that. That's what subtraction is for. It is for finding differences. And the difference between the 78 I started with and the 12 is going to be the answer I'm looking for. So now I have to remember, can I subtract? <laughs> I have eight, eight puppies, eight dollars, eight pineapples, and someone comes up and says, hey, can I have two puppies? Sure. Eight, seven, six. Remember, you're counting backwards when you're subtracting. And then seven, take away a little bit, leaves me 66. It's a pretty big number, right? 66. But it's not going to be as big as this. So I know it has to be smaller than 78. About 10 smaller than 70 is 60 something. So the bar model is going to help you check your work. It's going to help you know whether or not to add or subtract in these problems. Okay. Um, I have time for one more, but I only want to do part of it. I'm going to tell you the whole story and then I'm going to ask, do you think we are going to add or do you think we're going to subtract? Because guess what? In this story, there is no plus. There is no minus. What do you think we need to do? Here we go. The mass of a chicken is two kilograms. Okay. A turkey is five kilograms heavier than a chicken is. So all of the chicken plus five will give you what a turkey is. What is the total mass? Oh my heaven. Let's say, what is the total mass of the turkey first? Let's figure out what the turkey is. Okay, and then we'll do that second step. When we're looking for the turkey's mass, do you think we subtract the five and the two? Or when we're looking for the turkey's math mass, do you think we add the five and the two? I would love to hear your answer. I would also love to hear why you think it, okay? Don't worry about that second part of the question. What a stinker. What a stinker of a question. What you're gonna do for me, friend, is you're gonna solve a couple of these problems that I've already done the bar models for, right? So I did this one about Angelina and her two dogs. She has one little dog and one big dog. How much do her dogs weigh in all? You have to figure out the whole thing, okay? You're also gonna do this one about Miguel. Miguel weighs 32 kilograms, right? He is lighter than his friend Saul. We don't know how much Saul weighs, but we know that Miguel is five kilograms lighter than Saul was. So it's almost like you have to put his 32 and that five together to equal the same thing as Saul. How are you going to figure out how much Saul weighs? Those are the couple that I did really everything for you. And then I'm more likely to have you do a couple that are not like that, right? Where maybe you have to do a little bit more of the drawing. So I'll pick out a couple and put them in Seesaw. Show what you know. If you need help reading the question, go sit next to um, Big Brother or Grandma or a Mom or a Dad and just have them read the story to you. Remember, these are real life math problems. So you kind of have to understand what's happening. Don't just guess with the numbers, okay? Make sure you understand what's happening in each one of the stories. I think there's a fun math game for you on the next slide. Thanks, guys.